lo and behold, even I thought we were done after page three, but there is a page four. And so here we are with another video. Uh, it says, it's question six, good. And it says, for acetic acid, calculate and make a plot in Excel of the percent ionizations of acetic acid as a function of the acid's initial concentration. Turn in your plot with your work for this assignment. The reason we're having you do this is to show how percent ionization changes with initial concentration. And what you should find is that uh, percent ionization increases as concentration decreases. Now, what is percent ionization? We've covered this in the lecture outline, but it's worth mentioning again. The percent ionization is going to be the concentration uh, or the X, which is the amount of reaction, the extent of reaction X, which is also the concentration of hydronium ion and the concentration of acetate ion, the CH3COO minus. So it's going to be that X value divided by your initial concentration and uh, times 100%. So that's what you're plotting on the Y axis. The initial concentration is what you'll plot on the X axis. And uh, then you'll answer the question, which I think I just answered, based on your plot, what do you think happens, blah, blah, blah. For the rest of this page, it says write a KB reaction for each of these. So when you're treating these as bases, so uh, uh, you're going to put whatever it is, say the carbonate ion, add water as reactants, and then have the water transfer a proton to the carbonate ion to, uh, and then write the products. Similar for the other one, um, uh, benzoamine, I believe, um, is the name of that. But even if you don't recognize what it is, you know that I'm telling you it's a base because you're asked to write a KB reaction for it. And for that KB reaction, transfer a proton to it. It doesn't really matter where you put the proton, um, but the correct place for this one would be to make it C6H5NH3 plus because it will bond with the nitrogen, but I don't really care where you put it. And then last, what is the pH of a 0.23 molar solution of carbonate ion? Well, you're gonna have, you've written the KB reaction. Now you can find the KB value. KB, remember, is KW over KA for the conjugate weak acid. And the conjugate weak acid will be the other product in your KB reaction, the bicarbonate or hydrogen carbonate ion. So it's related to KA2. I think there's no page five, so I think this is my last hint guide for this assignment.